Hey, what's up guys? Bajiri here. This video is going to be a little bit of a nice chest day workout that I had. And this is like being recorded on the 28th. I'm also recording a day in the life vlog today as well. But um, this video, commentary is being recorded on the 28th. This video is from earlier, like I think last week even. So I I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say this is a, a little bit further out of competition than I actually am in real life right now. But uh, still wanted to share this video with you guys. Um, my chest days have been real, real, like, for a while now, have been really, really focused on using good form, getting a good contraction, and really backing off the weight. And it's been good for me in terms of my contest prep, but I think one of the things I want to do, uh, especially when I start eating more and getting back into a more bulking-focused uh, training and diet plan, is I do want to make sure that I'm not losing too much strength and mass off my chest, because... Uh, different different muscle groups sort of respond differently to the diet every time I do this and uh, This time around I feel like my chest has really taken a hit in terms of the strength department That being said I am confident that when I put in more food the strength will come back because this happened before when I was dieting I mean I I tend to lose strength and the first time I dieted I was really upset by that But now the second time and then this is the third time that I've really got into my diet process It's something that I'm ready for and something that I embrace and I sort of just sort of train around it, train through it, train alongside that. So doing lower weight with more focused reps ends up feeling okay. I still have good intensity. I, I get a pretty gnarly uh, pump after every, after every single one of these sets. I'm like, Jesus, because <laughs> it hurts, but it's, it, it's good. And uh, like I said, I don't really have a lot of carbs in my system to work with. Most of my carbohydrates are coming from vegetables and from quest bars, which end up just being a lot of fiber carbs anyway, which is fine. But the NO3 from Cellucor kind of helps me stay pumped even when I'm dieting with not a lot of carbs. So when I'm doing these really slow focused movements, I still get a good pump out of that. And I'm not training only for a pump, but what I'm sort of getting at here is that I am fully involving the muscle as much as I can. Filling it up with blood, trying to get as much of those muscle fibers involved in the movement as possible. And even though I'm not using a lot of weight, that's worth it. But like I said uh, earlier, like I was mentioning, I, I do tend to ramble with these videos a little bit, but <laughs> this is my gym vlog, man. This is me talking about whatever. But last time I, I came back off a diet and began to bulk again, I hopped back up on in, in the weight pretty quickly. Uh, I remember doing, uh, I was actually working out with Tally a lot during that time. And I was doing sets of 225 for like 12 and 15 reps. And that was on bench, but I also was also making like crazy breakthroughs on my squat as well. Like I was doing like 235 for like 12, 15 reps on squat. Like I was becoming an absolute monster. And then, uh, and then Warlords of Draenor hit, and I got sick. And so it was like, well, we're just gonna start kicking butt, you know, with the streaming and YouTubing while I recover from the illness. And then it was just like a flu bug, but it, it stayed with me for a long time. And I ended up losing a lot of weight, which is kind of what made me decide that I was gonna do a diet and uh, start getting ready for competition. It just so the timing worked out well. But hopefully we can avoid uh, sickness and avoid injury like we have been and uh, get ready for this competition, hit it hard, you know, do well. I am going into the competition, what I'm saying is I intend to win, I want to win, I'm visualizing myself winning, but uh, there's a, definitely a, a good possibility that somebody who just is in crazy shape just comes in there, takes that first place, and that's absolutely no worries because I'm still very proud of the work that I've done. I want to make you guys proud up on stage, I want to make myself proud up on stage. Everybody who's supported me, everybody who's believed in me, I want to make you guys proud. And I think that I'm going to do that. The, the physique that I'm preparing to bring to this competition is the best physique that I've ever had. Uh, obviously, I'm leaner and not as much, maybe just not as much raw muscle mass as I have when I'm bulking, but this is the leanest and most muscular I've ever been in my life. So we're, we're coming into that show pretty well. But what I was saying is like, I, I, look, at, I look at somebody like Matt Ogus or like Chris Jones, like these guys that I watch on YouTube. And it's just like, no matter what they do, they're pretty much in always just ridiculous shape. And these guys could come in, you know, from like bulking and they look better than me. And so it's like, okay, well, <laughs> that's rough. And like Christian Guzman, for example, like these guys are just ridiculous physiques no matter what. So if they could, like somebody like that walks into the show, they just, I just get ruined in terms of the first place. But you know what? Like I said, that's okay. I'm really proud of my training. I'm really proud of what I've been able to do. And this show is less about, you know, getting handed a particular trophy and more about just Showing myself that I could do it and just getting the practice because competitive bodybuilding is something that I want to do for a long time. I was a distance runner in high school and college before that I played basketball, so sports and competition have always been part of my life, just like the gym has. 
but now it's fun to have the have the sort of just the training for the gym be kind of like what the sport is. That, that, that's fun for me. Um, but this is something that I want to do for a long time, and I've known that I've wanted to start competing. So I'm really proud of myself to have started competing this uh, this competition season. And so far, things have gone really, really well. I've only done one show so far, so it's like, oh yeah, everything's gone great. But uh, <laughs> but doing the second show leading up to it has also been really fun. And it's been great to share the, the preparation process with you guys, but also the actual competition with you as well. And uh, my parents are actually going to go to this show, so uh, that means that Jenny will be a little bit more freed up to come and vlog with me. So she'll be my camera lady, we'll be able to give you guys a little bit more of a backstage look, a little bit more of a look at inside what it's like uh, at the show, and uh, get some nice camera work, get some more pictures for you guys. So this is going to be a really fun show in terms of being able to share it with you guys as well. But just want to share a little bit of a tune-up chest workout with you guys, share a few thoughts, plenty more gym videos coming for you guys as well as some day in the life videos leading up to this and i like to keep these real life vlogs going for you guys even after the competition's over but either way guys thank you so much for watching hope you enjoyed the video be sure to show us some love if you did and i'll see you guys next time peace